We have over 7,000 individuals living with HIV or AIDS here in Shelby County. The vast majority are living in complete poverty and our services are so essential because many of our families, they have no support system whatsoever and Hope House becomes their primary support system. Hope House began to help moms who were living with HIV have a place where they could drop off their children so that they could go to their medical appointments and things like that. The atmosphere of Hope House is very uplifting. The children are full of energy and full of excitement about life and learning. It's a place that you would be surprised that we were about HIV and poverty because you don't see it in the children's faces when they are here. It's just so much that they do throughout the year for us, not only just with the housing and with the family services, but individual counseling. So that helps as well because we need to be stable mentally and emotionally. We're making a difference in our clients' lives, in the lives of these kids. I see it every single day and it's had a huge impact on me and I truly believe it's having a huge impact on the people that we serve. One thing that has not changed is the prejudice and I'm just overwhelmed recently by some of the experiences I've had regarding the prejudice. We want people to know that. We want people to know that you can't get it from, you know, from giving me a hug or from, you know, I mean, we, we need that love and that support and that, that touch. We need that. I'm not worried about like their status, their parents' status. It's not about that. Working at Hope House, to me, it means the world. Like, I never understood like the impact that I'll make or like how would I be helping one person. But now it's like I have a room full of kids. Like, I, I don't have any children. But like when people ask me now, do you have any children? Yes, I have four babies. So it's all about the love and the relationship, like I said. Working at Hope House, it doesn't get any better.